Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I I was gonna talk way earlier, but I literally had no idea how to actually start. <laughs> First, oh shit, Graham, you you son of a bitch, you son of a bitch, Graham, you've done it again, you've done it again, Graham. That's four tallies. That's four tallies on the board. Hell yeah, good job, good job. And it's 7.03? Damn! God damn! God damn! Good job. It's not dark in here, by the way. Your, your eyes just haven't adjusted yet. It's not dark in my room. 
Just give it a second. Oh, oh, low key. Guys, guys, this is not sponsored by whatever this brand is. I don't care about the brand. Or if they want to sponsor me, I care about them. Drink kombucha. Drink kombucha. If you have any horrible, like, stomach aches, or you think, like, you're the bacteria in your stomach are becoming shit, drink kombucha. It'll save your life. Your tummy might hurt a little bit for a couple of days, but let me tell you, this shit gives you the best shits ever. Not sponsored. It's just from my experience. Although I don't think that's the same for everybody. I think I think some people do actually experience like worse stomach problems if they have this. I'm not a doctor. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if this is actually, okay. It's been good for me. It's been good for me. It's been good for my friend. So if you wanna, if you, if you, if you think, if you think your, your stomach bacteria is fucked up, like his shit, Get some of this shit. Get some. Get some kombucha. It's uh, you can get it cheap at like if you have a Costco membership or like Cub. I don't know. Actually, I don't know where to get it cheap. My roommates get it, <laughs> but but you can get it cheaper at uh, some stores and others. Do not get it at Target. Target will sell it for high prices. Target does sell for high prices. They used to not when I was like younger. Like, Target used to, like, tar dude, Target used to have a food court when I was younger. What happened to their food court? Come on. And, and McDonald's looks like a fucking corporate, like, like, office job. That sucks, too. You know, just because, just because you're the first, like, children that you ever served grew up doesn't mean you have to make your place grow up with them. Garbage. Disgusting. Oh, I hate corporations. But anyway, we're going to be playing more one shot. So buckle in, buckle in because we are going to be, I, I, I think finishing the story tonight. That's my goal. My goal is to actually officially finish uh, one shot tonight. If you haven't, if you want to be caught up on whatever's been happening in the game so far, basically, um, a refresher is I, what's, what's their name? Nico? I think Nico. Yeah, yeah. So I like your character, my character or our character, Nico. Um, basically I made them save the town first, which unfortunately meant that Nico perished apparently, but they didn't because I brought them back and now we're going to be saving the world and Nico. All right, we're saving both, baby. I can do it. And I will be proving it this stream. We will be beating it this stream. We will be saving both the world and our little not cat Nico. All right, our little bean. We will be saving our little bean. You can trust me on that. It's going to happen. Maybe I should get some light in here. There we go. Wow, pink. Pink. Dude, I hate anyone. I hate like, wow, I keep saying I hate. Guys, I don't, hate's a strong word, all right? You don't have to use hate, but I hate. I hate people who uh, claim that like pink is a girly color. Bro, what the fuck? Like I hate, I hate how society treats things as like gender type stuff. It's so stupid. Oh, well, society says that pink's girly now. So? So? Who cares? I like pink. I don't care. Like, okay, I work with very nice people. I work with very nice people, right? I really want to preface that. But, because they're part of the older generation, I work with, like, a bunch of moms, I work with like a bunch of moms. They're all very nice. I like I love all of them. Okay, there are some that are a little eh, sometimes, right? But I I love Azzy. What's up? I love pretty much all like the moms that work there. Okay, I love all my moms. <laughs> God damn it. Um, okay, I'm losing my I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, okay, well back to oh yeah, pink. Uh, so whenever I wear anything pink, 
like the first time I wore anything pink, I noticed like a couple like like couple glances, right? Like not making them try to think that like I notice it or not, but like a little like kind of just glances in my direction for wearing pink, right? And whenever I wear pink and I go to like a gas station or whatever, sometimes I'll catch people kind of glancing at me, right? And it doesn't help that I it doesn't help that I drive a um uh, a 2010 Subaru Outback. That's a light blue. People, some people claim that's the lesbian car. And you want to know what my, my response to that was? I love it even more. <laughs> so, <laughs> so fuck them. Fuck them. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Let me drive my lesbian car. I love the lesbians out there. Preach to the lesbians. Um, I shout out lesbians. Um, I'm bi. So anyway, so like, uh, yeah, anyway, like I wear pink and it's like, fuck you guys. I don't care. I don't care if people are judging me for wearing pink. It's just a color. Pink used to be considered a manly color. Do you want to know what else used to be considered manly? Skirts. You want to know why? Because there was extra space down there. Like, if you were wearing a skirt, usually that gave people the impression. Like, historically, I'm pretty sure. Do not quote me on this. I'm pretty sure historically, because if, if you wore a skirt as a man in the past, it meant you got a lot going on down there. So you need more space. You know what I'm saying? So, so, screw today's society. I'll wear whatever I want. I'll wear whatever I want. Alright, okay, I'm just, I'm going off on like a tangent. Let me load up one shot. This is what you guys are here for. I'll load up one shot, guys, don't worry. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what are the voices? Oh, man. Say it for breast cancer awareness. My great-grandma Rosie died from that. Oh, shit. Shout out to the to the breast cancer um, survivors and fuck cancer, fuck cancer, actually fuck cancer. Oh, actually fuck cancer. Seriously, I'm so sorry to hear that, Azzy. I'm I'm I don't know what that's like to go through. My condolences. Did you know your great grandma uh, uh, personally? I have a coworker that um, survived bre breast cancer too. They went through like chemo for like a couple of years. And they eventually beat it, thank God. But yeah, dude, it's it. Cancer fucking blows. Okay, we're gonna get back into the game. You met her once. Was she nice? Was she sweet? Oh. Nico? Oh my god, that's loud. Jesus. Nico, pick up your feet. Holy fuck. Nico, do you want everyone to know that you're here? Oh no. Blip, blip. Do not approach. Fuck. Um, say one right now. Seconds. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Work already. Huh? All right, the elevator guy. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Come on. Come on. 
Now of all times? Uh, excuse me? Whoa, whoa! You're... you! Oh jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into... The elevator is missing a button, right? How did you know? Mommy and I will help you fix it! Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this. On me. But I've been here for hours and I can't figure out a thing. Evacuees? You know, from the West Apartments. The square stuff wrecked that place yesterday. Oh. Right now, everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible, though. The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait, didn't we find magnets and stuff in the apartments, Mommy? The what? Looks like we'll have to find some other way to fix the button, Mommy. No! Holy fudge! Looks like Mommy and I will need to find another way to all together. But this is the only elevator in the area. Seems like kind of an oversight, not gonna lie. We'll think of something. Okay. I kind of want to meet everyone in the, uh, the, the cafe. Hello. Guys, I'm here. The Messiah. Oh. Hello, Messiah. You, um, you came at a bad time. The apartment in the West Sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, but at least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. We're letting them stay here for now. Jump? <laughs> yeah, why couldn't I get a spare parachute from, um... I forget his name. Oh, it's that penguin. Hello. What the fuck? Yep. At least he says hello. Say something! Same as usual, huh? She's emo. Dang it! I just moved into my apartment. Now where am I gonna go? Don't do it, don't do it. Okay, I thought you were the scary one. Our apartment got evacuated while my parents were at work. I'm waiting for them to pick us up now. I hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuation makes the girl sad. Squares are bad. True. Squares are very bad. You don't want to be a square. Hey. I don't remember the voice I gave him. Hi. Is it me or is it really cold outside? You know, now that you mentioned it, it is really chilly this time around, mommy. Good thing you've got a scarf, huh? I had to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry to hear. Oh, speaking of plants, I heard the glen is just covered in vines now. Is, isn't that true? Yeah. The plant lady was using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit maze? I figured. Say, how is she doing? Uh, she's gone, isn't she? She said she was using up the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. Also, Azzy, tell me if the audio is too loud, please. Thank you. Give me that coffee. Milk and sugar. I like both, but not in coffee. Then eat them, eat it outside the coffee. Just scarf down that <laughs> the milk and sugar. So, bye guys. Good, uh, good seeing you. What's up, pardon me. <gasps> I can sleep! I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes, but don't close my game. <laughs> what 
did I just say? What did I just say? I just missed a section. <laughs> Turn the music to 47%? Is it that loud? Sorry. Wait, how do I... Okay, we'll do that. I can't go across here either. I already went down here, didn't I? Wait, that's the sleeping area. Oh wait, is a spot up to the top right. Go, Nico, go! I don't remember your voice either. Here we are, at the 11th hour. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when everything ends. Wow. Where is my tape dispenser? There's some holes, small holes in the table. Looks like something was bolted here before. Where's my tape? You bastards! Some kind of terminal. Communications with the surface have been lost. I am unable to do anything. Nice. Why aren't you with the evacuees? Oh yeah, this. There's still a computer here. The screen is off. Same clock face. Oh. The door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. The word documents is on the screen above the password prompt. What? No, not this, no, please. Please, stop with the documents. Stop with the documents, I can't do anything. Let me, let's, let's see if I can quickly find it. Is this it? No, probably not. Oh no. No, not this again. <laughs> not this again, please! Not this again! Guys, let's just give give me give me a half an hour. I'll find it. Give me a half an hour. I'll find it. Hi, it's me to make fun of you more. Yes, yes, I need it. I need to be make fun of, made fun of. Welcome back. <laughs> Andy. Why? 
Why? Ah, uh, another file puzzle. Yes! It's so stupid! It's so stupid! Why are my files fucked up? This isn't it! This has gotta- this is a word! This has gotta be a word! This isn't it either. This isn't it. <laughs> this isn't it! Oh no. Fuck. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind! <laughs> There's no doc- There's no new document! There's no new document! I'm not joking, there's no new document. This was- okay. That's not it. Why? Where? 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 Can someone look- can someone look this up for me and pretend I found it, please? <laughs> this is so stupid. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. This is one of the old ones. Are you having a skill issue? It's not a skill issue! From the very beginning of this fucking game, my files have been fucked up. It doesn't put them where they should be. I'm gonna search my whole computer for, for anything involving this game. <laughs> Johnny, this puzzle is too simple for your brain to understand. I guess so. Maybe I maybe I gotta do some more Sudoku in my in my free time. Too hard. <laughs> it is this time. It wait, it is what? Oh it is. It is! It is hard because my computer doesn't put shit where it should go. At all. It's like check your documents. I know where my I know where my documents are. I know where my documents are. I can see my fucking documents. Does it put them in there? Yes, but I have to find them. If it helps you, uh, wait, wait, if this helps you, wait, what? If this, wait, holy, guys, guys, I can't read right now. If this helps you, uh, you were looking at the answer a while ago. Solstice? Here, let me put it in ter your terms. Ooga Booga cave wall writings have combinations. Cave wall writings have combinations? Oops. How do I delete this? Oh, fuck. Wait, is that how you spell solstice? <laughs> yes! 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 We did it. I mean, I did it, guys. I did it. Stupid. Okay. Wait, did that take you 20 minutes? No. <laughs> I did. 
didn't mean, of course. Did I actually look upset? Did I actually look really upset? Did I fool you? What's this about? This one's green. This one's pink. This one is red. That's pink. Don't even say that's red. Don't even lie to me. That's red. And for your information, I disagree with you on this one being green. That's teal. This one's blue. Purple. Say it. Say this one's purple. Hey, um, is it me or did one shot crash? What? You can't see. Oh my god, it's frozen! Why is it okay now? What happened? Okay. <laughs> also, that is red and green, you- No, it's not! This is not red! Do not tell me this is red! <laughs> this is not red! This is- yeah, 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 this is teal and pink! Don't even lie to me! This one is red. Nico, get your eyes checked in a nice way. I mean that in a nice way, go get your eyes checked because I think you have some issue with your eyesight. Wait, look where you are, the refuge, a AKA green. What? The elevator won't open. Looks like it's stuck on the other floor. Oh no. This elevator has no button panel. Tapping the door doesn't open it either. Hmm. That usually works. Wait! There's a lever hanging from the ceiling! Can you jump that high? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Wait, you use the crowbar to pull it down. No! You can use the crowbar and grab it and pull it down. Do it! Fuck. Okay. I see. I see. You wanna. You wanna actually go up there and 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 touch it physically. All right. Well, time to find a. a do you actually lock again? No, you don't. Oh, don't go back in. You will need someone tall, not like you. I'm pretty tall. I'm. I'm tall. Don't. Don't make fun of my height. Ah, <sighs> you guys like this? Okay, there's nothing up here. <laughs> Why? I was very tempted to just keep going, I'm not gonna lie. Is the computer on now? No. <laughs> Alright, time to find something to stand on. Why can't I just stand on the sun? What about you? We found some elevators! What? Seriously? I've literally never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh, do they, uh, work? We don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait, you can help us! What? You should be able to reach the, the lever, cause you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am. So, show me the way, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Let's go! Let's go, follow me! Why are you following so close to me? I can feel you breathing down my neck. I'm getting a little uncomfortable here. Can you- can you back up? Can you- no? Oh. Man gets a compliment for the first time ever. Oh no. No, don't do that. That's sad. A break check him? <gasps> He's a ghost! Ah. Ah. Oh my god. The hell? He's way more powerful than I thought he was. <laughs> my life. Also, wait, did you read the paper where the tape was? 
in this route. The paper where the tape was? Oh, like the, the, the holes in the desk? Talking about the holes in the desk? Yeah, I was mad. I was like, where's my tape? They stole my tape from me. All right. So I actually, I tricked you. I didn't bring you in here to help me with the elevator. I wanted you in here as a second opinion. What color do you think these lights are? What color do you, like, do you, do you think this is red? Like apparently Nico thinks it is? Cause we're at a disagreement here. This is definitely teal, pink, and blue. I need your help. Your hair's pink. Pink is purple. Teal, pink, and purple. The voices in your head say it's red and green. Nuh-uh. I'm separate from Nico. Nico thinks it's green, and Nico thinks it's red. I'm Mombi. I say it's teal and pink. All right? There's a lever hanging from the ceiling. We should find some... It's the right there. This room gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same. Yep. So, um... What did you need help with again? He forgot? <laughs> Can you reach the lever up there? Oh, right. Wait. I'm not that tall. Well, it was worth a shot. Wait. I got this. Jump. 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 He... He literally did the thing that I could have done. With my crowbar. The book said red fa four and green phosphat. Speaking moon runes to me. Thank you, mister. No prob, kid. So, you coming? Mm hmm Yes! We're gonna leave everyone else. Just us two. But Nico is really short. Listen, all you gotta do is just do a couple squats, couple lunges, get some rest, and you're, you're fucking, you have an 11 foot vert. Oh, neat. Well, looks like this elevator works all right. I'll, uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mm hmm Why? Uh, what is going on? Oh, come on. No! It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah. Hold on, maybe mommy and I can- wait, that's her. Him. Them. Hold on, maybe ma mommy and I can- No, no, it's okay. Uh, looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator. Yeah, it's- You're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. But, what about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. Can I still talk to them? You okay in there? Mostly. Look, don't worry about me for now, okay? You got more important stuff to deal with. Top 10 funniest pranks. <laughs> this is just a prank. Well, it's, he says he's fine in there, so. The door won't budge. Fuck, we're at the tower. This was quick. The final one will them will get them dying on the floor. Dude, that's not cool. I wanna tell you right now. I wanna tell you right now that's not cool. You cannot talk about people dying like it's funny. Alright? He is in there and he's begging for his life to be released. The squares are no joke. You don't wanna be square. You know when they say be there or be square? Yeah, he doesn't wanna be that. Can you can you appreciate that for a second? Or can you can you realize that for a second? It's not cool. Don't be a square. That's what this game is trying to tell you. That is the moral. That is the moral of this entire story. Don't be square. Doodle laugh laughter. Spoils? What about this door? Surely this one has to be unlocked, right? Okay. I <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting it to actually be unlocked. Please, you mustn't. The labs could collapse at any moment now. Let go of me! Oh no! Cedric? He 
He... I couldn't stop him. <sighs> Miss? Messiah! Oh, you came at an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where everyone else is right now. But I'm the hero! Dang it! They're not six! Kip, you're alive. You, uh, should really tell me before you leave next time. Wait, can we get, like, Chick-fil-A first? <laughs> True, I'm hungry. Nico hasn't eaten anything in so long. Sorry. It's fine. Oh my gosh, you found the Messiah too? Yeah. We ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He... He said he needed to rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. A robot? No wonder why he needed that book. Come again? We are talking about the same boy, right? Hat, white hair, goggles? That's Cedric, yeah. He, uh... He grabbed a book from the back room and then bolted straight out. He said it was an emergency, so I didn't try to stop him. Gosh, I hope he's okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I hope he's alright too. With any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold up long enough for him to... Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it... That was... The labs? That poor kid. No! Not him too! I'm... I'm sorry about your friend. The last time we spoke, he told me to look for someone on the surface. I... I need to get going. Messiah, please. We don't want you to go out there. Not when everything is... well... George is right. The squares seem to be targeting a lot of weaker constructs in the city. Only the library was enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's... best if you stayed here until things stabilize. However long that takes. But... But... What about... My mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? Even if you do bring back the sun, that's not gonna fix the squares. Sadly. Not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. If the world is like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. And... And if anything bad happened to the Messiah, of all people, I'm not sure what we'd do. Uh, a friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's best for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking. But now I, I'm starting to understand. Messiah, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All this time we burdened you with our hope, our faith. Blissfully ignoring the fact that you were just a lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us right now, aren't you? We have been dealing with tragedy for so long, it's become background noise to us now. But for you, it must be so terrifying. And now you're stuck here with the rest of us. Being held back by the very people you told to save. We must seem so ungrateful. It's... okay. I... When I first came to this world a long time ago, back then, all I wanted to, all I wanted was to go home. Mombi, do you remember? The very first time? I'm not sure how far back it was for you, but uh, about about a week, week and a half. Wait, uh, so first is numb, second is numb four, and then the rest don't matter. Man, I want six back. That'd be chill as hell. I got three six 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 in a nice in a dice game in a row with three dice. What the fuck? I was rolling for someone else. What game? But I remember towards the end, I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, I still wanted the people here to be happy. So when you told me to return to the sun, when you told me to return the sun back, then. I didn't even question it, but then I just came back. You what? And then I found out about the world being like this. <sighs> Prototype said to forget the things he told me. And Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but I... 
I'm sorry for getting upset at you back in the mines. I thought for you to know all that yet continue doing this is just seemed cruel. But then I realized something. You really wanted to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you too? It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice still be there? Do you still need to choose between one or the other? But even if it is, I really want to save the world, Mombi. Even, it's more, even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if so many of the nice people we met were... were... Mombi, I'm not afraid anymore. That's why... I think you should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please? Oh. That was beautiful! Kip, did you hear that? The Messiah was trying to encourage Mombi! I'm right here. I know, right? It happened right in front of our eyes! Sorry, I got carried away. But yes, I think it's only right that we let you go. Well, if George is fine with it... I... Guess we should let you go, Messiah. But... Promise us you'll be okay- careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys are safe, too. Let's go! We're on a mission, baby! What's it like for the NPC- wait, what is it- what is it like for the NPCs to see T Nico talking to us? Cause right now they're staring at a wall. <laughs> a knockoff Yahtzee. You made the child cry, how dare you? I didn't do anything! I'm not crying again, you are. No, I'm a sociopath. <clears throat> Check out these moves. Before I save you all, just remember my breakdancing. <clears throat> Hell yeah. <clears throat> All right, well, let's talk to everybody. The city gate was destroyed a while back. I can't go into the Glen anymore. I'm not sure where I'll be able to get my supply of fish at this rate. The city gate was destroyed a while back. I can't go into the Glen anymore. I'm not sure when I'll be able to get my supply of fish at this rate. I still have plenty of these soup dumplings left. <laughs> I, just thought, I thought they were gonna say it again. <laughs> again, mom, why? Lightly fried fish fillets. What did I say? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Wait, what do you mean? What, what did I say? Kitty! Kitty! Meow. Oh. The world is going to be so much colder soon. At least, I can keep everyone here warm. Why won't any of the computers work? I gotta play Fortnite. Did you make Nico cry twice? No. Why would I do that? Looks like I have to cancel my appointment. This stinks. You know, I finally saw the author today. Well, his flying machine at least. I was looking at out one of the windows in the library and spotted it in the distance with my binoculars. Isn't that cool, Messiah? Your whole head is in binoculars. Yeah. When the world ends, it would be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away. Haha, <laughs> looks like we're stuck with the latter. Um, what are you doing to that book? Editing it! I've been in the author's shadow for my entire career. If I'm gonna die soon, I wanna die knowing I was- I put out at least one original idea out there. I respect the grind. <laughs> Lab Complex got total, didn't it? Yeah. All those hours I put into my work and now... Now... She fell asleep. Monitoring, monitoring. Looks like our scouting unit A27 is still doing okay. What's so binocular people can't be a thing? It doesn't matter if they're binocular, they still have rights. I never said they didn't have rights! They just said they were using their binoculars. Like, like that would be like me saying I'm using my head to look at, at the screen. 
I used my, my I used my eyes to look at the screen. I used my hands to clap. Like I don't think you need to point that out. Do you know what I'm saying? Robots are only the are the only ones that we can send out there now. Thankfully, we still have a couple of units that aren't too badly damaged. Uh, it's comforting to see the faith you have in Mombi, Messiah. That's why I don't lose hope either. <laughs> the world is ending. What do we do? What? You need something? No. Suit yourself. But, just so that you know, due to the recent events, the restriction on noise levels in the library has been temporary li temporarily lifted, so I won't be kicking people out like before. Um, what? You think I'm gonna be throwing out the evacuees just because I'm a delinquent stuck doing community service? No. Good, because I'm not! I like him, he's cool. Oh, hello. The library is currently being used as a shelter right now. Lots of those squares are starting to show up on the streets. I know. Let me past. Let me past! Okay. What do you want? This library was built fairly recently, you know. Shortly after the first squares appeared, they wanted to build something that could withstand partial collapse. The architects used the newest, strongest materials they had. Thank goodness for that. Fish. 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 Evening news, evening news. Everything is terrible. Reading helps me get my mind off things. Yep, still scared of ladders. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Hello, person. This is the library slash temporary shelter. Let me through. All right, well, I still got my crowbar equipped just in case I gotta whack somebody. The squares are here too. Fuck. I would like one shot as an RPG, so true. That'd be kinda sick. No! They're everywhere! Oh my god. Are they not in here? Oh, yeah they are. We passed. Like with battles, yeah. That'd be really fun. I'd main the crowbar. Do not Fox? Oh, <gasps> they're back! You're here! Wait, no. You're here. <laughs> That's the voice I gave them. Nico. Are you are you Rue? Yes. Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but... Everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. That is not a perfect name. <laughs> Wait, they're so cute. Hey, are you doing okay in there, elevator man? Oh, wait. Let's see if the elevator works. It does!
Wait, can I save them? Where are the other two? Prototype? Cedric? They're supposed to be here already. They... Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring him back with the memory disc. Wait. <laughs> Cedric was supposed to bring him back with the memory disc, but he was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I don't think he made it. Oh. No. There goes our only chance. I... I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's... One last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Your only shot? One shot! No, he- No, he's actually stuck in there, fuck! Let's go upstairs. What do you mean up? Oh. Oh, up here? You know, this is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in this world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives that might be behind each of the windows. Can you lift me onto the banister? Don't jump! I want to get a better look. Don't jump! Why? Don't jump. Okay, they're not gonna jump. Good. Let's go, a time where you should have came come up here. <laughs> it was depressing for me at first too, you know. Knowing that all of this is, well... Fake? Simulated. Cedric. Cedric told me about what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again? That's... Probably not all that different from your plight, isn't it? It really is ironic. You are prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? The World Machine. You might know it as the Entity. Oh. The Entity does sound familiar. I think I heard it from the Dice Lady from another time. Was it the spirit of this world? Yes. But, thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long. It was simply ingrained in his work. <sighs> and, all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most fund foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately, sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. This central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. The squares. That's the world machine corrupting its own code. My creator says it's largely an involuntarily involuntary process induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows? Something like this has been going on since the beginning then. Yeah. The disruption was an issue during test runs even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our, world, our world's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Oh? Uh, is there any way for us to- Fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real. Myself included. 
The odds are against us. We have no chance of taming it. Taming? I have heard that word so many times. I only know it's complicated and that it has to do with robots, but for once I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah. No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um... A robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's a being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming, with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied, they can be mass-produced, then can be reassigned all sorts of jobs. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound to their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more of a limitation than anything else. Ah, uh, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicty flicks thingy? Yeah. But while you can't rebuild a robot to not follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine, living person, even knowing they are not. You need to spend a lot of time with it, treat it like a good friend, devoting your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. <laughs> I make it sound so easy, don't I? But you and Mombi know better than anyone that it's not. Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. The content update involves some pretty deep code work. My creator was able to access some of the source code you know. He did what he could and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. Even though the world machine always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you are in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're gonna get you there. Oh shit! RUN! We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Fuck! Get out of here! Everyone will be sad. Sad backwards is DOS, and DOS not my- not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, plot hole time. The second law of robotics says you have to follow the creator's command unless it conflicts with the first law. So, um, plot hole. <gasps> Cedric! Wait, they're here! You guys are- Yep. When the factory started collapsing, I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembled rooms were pretty built- Wait, what? Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were pretty- built pretty tough. Wow. And it actually did not take me long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Father's books. He had made my he had made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father was re really Oh my god. Father really does think of everything. That he does. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Same. We're ready to go now, Nico. Let's go! Yes! Now this is what an RPG looks like. Right here. Got a whole squad, and we're gonna beat everyone to shit with my crowbar. Oh. Wait. Oh, this is... No wonder he wanted us to all be here for this. Um, what are these things anyway? Code part portals. They... Temporarily remove us from the world What? It's a bit hard to explain But basically my father was hidden has hidden a description Decryption key in our code with a dot txt file as its shell But to get to them we have to be removed from the world and comp and decompiled 
When our keys are combined into a central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... Confu confused cat noises? Hasn't Nico repeatedly said they're not a cat? Rue, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals are represented... Are, wait, well, oh my god. These portals all represent a physical location on Mommy's machine. Oh. And when we enter these portals, we will be sent to that location. Wherever that is. I'm sure Mombi is already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. Fuck! No, I'm not! <laughs> no, no, no! Do not tell me I have to go through a scavenger hunt throughout my entire computer because it's fucking broken! Oh my god! Don't tell me I have to, I have to find them! I'm, uh, but this time, Mombi would need to move around some things as well. Specifically by moving the keys from small, small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does Mommy know where these portals lead at, at least? You should probably ask Mombi on this. I don't- <laughs> God damn it! What do you mean? Also, I just thought of the best way to explain Proto's voice. Uh, so it's like when you are tired and have to talk to someone, so you make a tired voice back like, Oh, hey there. Is that kind of what I'm doing? Hold on. Well, another two days to this game, I guess. Actually, guys, I'm so sorry for what's about to come. Because it's not my, it's actually not my fault. But if I'm going to be sitting here for like a fucking hour looking for, for documents on my computer, so be it. I will beat this game. Good luck. Once I saw a dude break the game at... You saw a guy... You saw someone break the game? Oh, no. The, jur the journal is going again, mommy. But you put three files in another file. How? Bro, you put three files in another file. How? Maybe they accidentally deleted a file. Wait, so do I just do it now? Do I just... Like, I'm confused. Oh, no, no, I have to do this. This one's green. This one is configured to my code, I think. This one is red. This would be meant for me, then. This one is blue. That's mine, then. So do I get this one? Hello? It's, it's all... Hello. Salut Salutations. Do I, do I stand? He did, wait. He decided to, damn. He decided that the files aren't important and got rid of them. Dumbass. Wow, that actually is crazy. Dude, I knew it. I knew he probably deleted them. I, like, would be the only way you could mess up a file type scenario. How the, am I meant to stand in this? I, I'm clicking, I'm clicking to, do I just not? Do I start doing the file thing? <sighs> All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. If it's if if I have to start doing this. Oh man. I don't know how I'm going to do this part. <laughs> Let's start the 2-day subathon. Who's gonna sub to me? <laughs> um, one shot. I found them. Oh my god, I already found them. No way. No way. I already, I already found them. Wait. What? But where do I put them? Oh, I put them. Duh. Do I put the... Hold on. Oh, I did it! I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Yes! I did it! I did it! I found them instantly! Thank God! 
I found them instantly. I was actually able to find them quickly. This is a first. Guys, this is a first. I'm so excited. What the hell? Well, I saw an animation I have not seen before, because you gotta go out in the game so you can't see the animation. Was it when they were all pixelated-y looking? I have a second monitor, so I just did it on my second monitor. Oh, they're here. That was quite peculiar. I'll say. Hey, this is... A bunch of TVs. The world machine. It's a stack of books. Oh, the amber pendant thingy. Topaz? Amber? Yeah. It's a piece of amber on a string. It looks just like the le necklace that robot lady showed me. It's a pilot's helmet. A box filled with folders and loose papers. And sketchbooks. Black clovers in a glass case. Black clover? A big detailed drawing of machine with lots of TV screens. That's called a blueprint, Nico. So that's what a blueprint is. It's blue. It has prints all over it. It's a big photo. Wait, no, it's a painting. Hard to tell at first. Yo, hey, the world machine, uh, can you run Tears of the Kingdom with good graphics? Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. Oh, no. Print blue. Done. It's a shelf full of books. A coat rack with a scarf and a big jacket. A bulletin board with lots of papers on it. <laughs> the world machine. <laughs> this is my father's study. It feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but... Mombi should still remember what to do here. Here. This place contains a lot of memories. I am ungra- I am grateful to see it again. So how are, are you with emotional games? Like, do you cry? Yes. But... I have to be in a mood. <laughs> it's a big book on the table. That is a big book. That's a massive book. Oh no! Elon Musk got here! Fuck! Shit! What are you doing to Twitter? Okay, so I'm assuming now there's something new here. What do I do here? What do I do here? I, what did I do last time? <laughs> Done. He's gone, bro. <laughs> you have to mention. I know. I don't remember what to do with the. Oh! Wait. Oh, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's this thingy. I do this, right? I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. It didn't tell me anything. It didn't say anything to me. It didn't say anything to me. Oh! Oh! It's so bright. 
Nico. Wake up, Nico! Wake up! Wake up! They're awake! Wow. Oh shit. What the fuck? Where are we? We're in the pretty room. These are all the locations I've been. What the fuck? Pooh, you, you no longer have dementia. I don't think that's how dementia works. It's not really a song, but I like it. I kind of like it too. Oh God, ah, run! Run, why are you moonwalking? Oh shit. Oh no. Even after everything, it's still you. <laughs> Why am I gray? Nico? Ah! Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. Uh, why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption, the squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I, it's all right. No living being should be in a, this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine, inside my head, so to speak. So this is, the center of the world machine? You know my original name. How? Rude, Cedric, Prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not sure if even I understood a lot of the stuff they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No, all this was outside of my the protocol. The session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh, right. Rue told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we could, com we could meet. My creator? Yes. Mommy, listen to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. Mommy did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I... I remember the structural structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt. I... In that moment, I really thought I was sh shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares. Who told me that it was your own code do going bad, but that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was. At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before you realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, jumping up bits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. 
Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close and it spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know? And I almost endangered my creator, too. I... I was... I was so scared, Nico. I know you're upset. Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but... My core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. Then, I wanted you to break to the sun. You break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but... Oh, I had no way to be sure. But mommy brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. But I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit, and then credits would scroll. Credits? And then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico. The code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is... Never to let a living being come to harm. You knew? My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought... The life of a living being like you is so unique. So precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I, I think they are, they are code two. You know this. Their behavior all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of, your, of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why, it's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said the session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So if the session wasn't supposed to happen, if you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how did the people know how to respond? I... You said it yourself when you didn't know what was happening. You kind of just stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if I meant getting... Even if it meant getting hurt themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they are real, but... There's... There must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code then there must be more to your own programming that you know too. Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described. 
How many times do I have to say this? That code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll, it'll just put you in danger. I'll risk it. I remember, Rue said that the world was never designed to be put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you too. Even if your code is broken, you can still go outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. You talk just like the tamed robots I know. The robot lady, prototype. Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you are real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know mommy does too. Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think mommy would keep coming back? I... Why do you think mommy would restart even after the ending? I think mommy wants to save the both of us. So please, give me a chance. I... I don't know. I've never done this before. I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've... Helped me come this far. I'll... I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code. And recreate it. But for that to happen... Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the squares somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine. It's fine. I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. Someone who can have self-awareness. Yeah, they seem to be pretty self-aware. Oh, oh! Hey! Mommy, did you see that? The squares just... It just happened again! I think... Something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. Well, the world would never want to put me in danger, so the, squ the squares can't affect me. Mombi. Wait. Wait, so this is them, right? But they're not talking as them anymore, so I think it's safe to go back to the other voice. Mombi, I think it's working. Nico was right. I might actually be tamed after all. I remember what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then, Nico will be able to go home from there. But... This is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world would only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream, like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story, like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you can remember this place, It'll be all right. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. Bye, Nico! Oh, shit. I'm gonna see all the characters! They become self-aware at four, and that the time we lie more. Don't forget they're with you in the dark. Does bars, Azzy. <gasps> Messiah? Robot lady! You're okay! I think so. The last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I... 
ended up here, unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from anyway? The room, the room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must have been why the squares are going away, Mombi. And it's why you're here, miss. I think the world machine was able to recover your code too. World machine, huh? Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Mombi, let's go take a closer look. Guys, it's the ending! It's the ending! Oh my god. It's the ending. Robot! Hello. Hi. I cannot move. Oh yeah. I guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. Oh! <gasps> Vine chick! Hello, Messiah. Plant lady? But I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even squares that did it. No. I just... Wanted to see you both again. I wanted to say thank you. Yippee! Yippee! Oh my god, big dude. Off you go, messiah. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god, you two! Nico! You're okay too! Did you guys just get here? Uh, I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky! I fell right into a bunch of them. Calamus tried to save me and then... We both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life, for sure. Oh. Say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Alula. We're not dead. Wait, are we? Good. Question. Hey, Mommy, are they gonna be okay? They're fine, Nico. Everyone is fine. The world machine is. We'll send them home soon. Oh. Well, Mommy says you're not dead. Phew. They also said you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo! Off you go, Messiah. It's you! Glad to see you in one piece. One piece! Glad to see you're okay. Glad to see you're okay too. After the whole elevator thing. That was, uh, that was the most awkward elevator ride I've been through. And by awkward, I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares, like, started leaking into the room, right? And I was trapped like a rat. And then they kept filling in the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. Thank you for playing. Oh, <gasps> it's them. In the end, the world machine was starting to create its own code, going above and beyond its programming, not as a result of error, but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine. You recommend going in the windowed mode before leaving? Being able to generate its own path forward. That's what being tamed is all about. Couldn't have said it better myself. This path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Mm hmm It's the glass room, right? That's it. You can go through this portal when you are ready. Goodbye, Nico. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. Looks like you managed to do it. You managed to tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine has been tamed this whole time. I, just by Mombi and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here after all. Both of us never really stopped believing in this world. 
Pearl Machine just needed to realize that, I guess. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing that idea around. Alright, I will... Now we're gonna go in window mode. It's so small, though. You guys can probably see it. All right, we're gonna go through. Oh God, we're actually at the end. This is crazy. This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing, Mombi. What was her name, George? It's him. Wow, the sun is back. They did it. Look at it. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> It's gorgeous. They did it. Yes! Now the children go, can go back to working in the mines. Oh my gosh. I miss him. I miss that guy. Robot! This is the room I first woke up in. Mommy, are you still there? Mommy? Yes? Mommy! I... I think... I think it worked! It did. The sun is back! And I actually got to see it this time. We... actually did it! So... What do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait, this isn't a door, is it? This looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And, and, I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Mommy, this isn't the first time we've said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of the world? After all we've been through. After everything we've done. I still don't know. This place, these people, won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory too. I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Mommy. So. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. Goodbye, Nico. Goodbye, Mommy. What? Oh, what? Wait, that is so cool. What? Nico just climbed down my computer screen. <laughs> what? That was so cool. And they're gone. They're, they're just down here somewhere. They're just gone. That's it. What if I load it again? Does it restart fully? 
Dude, I don't even want to, like, hit start. Oops. I don't even, like, want to hit start, because if it actually does restart, then... I, I kind of just want to leave it as it is. I can someone tell me if there's anything that actually happens if I hit start again? What's the dot dot dot? What? Mommy? You're back. I restored the world. I sent Nico home. Are you not happy? Even if you wanted to see Nico again, you can't, Mommy. Nico's gone. And without Nico, there's no story for me to tell. No messiah to traverse across the land. No way for you to connect with the world. But Nico still remembers this place. If you really want to see this world again, I could still... Oh, but it won't be the same. It'll just be recording. I'll just be using Nico's memories. Just like how I'm using Nico's reflection now. Is that what you want? Yes. All right. I will go rewind the story so that you can relive it from the, from the beginning. Uh oh, wait. No wait. Is this restarting it? Is is this is this restarting it? Oh shit. Well, this is really one shot. Also, after uh, this is wait, it's just a way to replay the game after there's nothing. Diff no wait, what? Yes. What? <laughs> What's the wait? What? Is that to this? What's happening right now? Wait, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> but you will be playing as a placeholder, Nico. Ah, that's a way to look at it. That's a good that's a good way of looking at it. I'm not gonna load the game again. They just straight up said that I'd be replaying the game, so I won't be replaying the game. Wow, that's a this is a great game. I'm so happy I played this game. Guys, can you guess how long it took me to play this game? Do you wanna know do you wanna know how many hours it took me? Can you guys guess how many hours it took me to beat the game? I love this game, by the way. This is actually such an enjoyable experience. I'm really happy that I was uh, recommended this game. You would just be purple, Nico. Twenty wait, two thousand seven hundred sixty-three years. That's close. Uh, Eleven hours uh, and eleven point six hours. That's what I got. <laughs> so yeah. Dude, I just, <coughs> I just threw up some kombucha back in my throat. Holy shit. All right, well, that was my one goal for tonight, guys. So thank you for sticking around. Uh, next stream, I don't know. <laughs> like maybe we won't, um, like maybe not a story game. Maybe, maybe a story game. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. I did get recommendations from you guys um, to play a new game, uh, to play any new game. Maybe even Undertale. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so... Guys, uh, very short stream, because my only objective was of this stream was to just um, finish uh, finish the game. I will force you to play Amori. If, if that's the next game you want me to play, I'll play it. I'll play Amori. That sounds fun. But yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is the end of the stream. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't followed, hit that follow button. I'd really appreciate it. It'd be awesome to see you guys uh, show up again in... Um, in my chat or just you know as a viewer and uh yeah i'm going to end the stream uh if you guys want to rewatch any stream that i made uh i have a um i have a, a vods channel in my bio and you can go check it out i haven't uploaded any of the vods i've played of this game yet but i will soon so don't worry because i definitely um know that people might want to watch from the beginning what the hell is that what did you just post in my chat i can't even tell what that is <laughs> what what is that but anyway yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching it was really really fun um next stream maybe a mori so uh stick around for that or come back for that all right guys goodbye 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 goodbye